Throughout the week, ASU football fans were reminded about the last time Oregon came to town and the upset the Sun Devils were able to pull off. Well, this time around, it was a bit of a different story. And although Bo Nix was not on that 2019 Duck squad, he showed that he was determined to not let history repeat itself with six first half touchdowns as his team rolled to a 49-13 victory. He came out, you know, saying hitting, hitting, um, hitting all his reads, and it kind of felt like there was times where he was just making calls on his own. Um, I know there was a couple series where they had a couple check with me's, but it didn't seem like he was necessarily looking toward the sideline. I think it was just more so his ability to truly be a mastermind out there. Bo Nix was indeed a mastermind, picking apart the Sun Devil defense throughout the afternoon. But it wasn't just Nix who shined in the Ducks' win, as nine different players recorded a reception. A thing those players all had in common? Their ability to run after the catch, as the Sun Devil defense struggled with tackling from start to finish. They're just hard to tackle. I mean, I know you wish there was like a coaching answer. Like, I, there's not. There's a one-on-one, -on -one, human, human, tackle them. Sometimes that dude's really good and he makes you miss. Sometimes you tackle. And... Uh, Really good teams on offenses make that guy miss and go score. And really good teams on defenses tackle that dude every time. That theme of guys just being better was evident all afternoon on both sides of the ball. Head coach Kenny Dillingham was very honest about where his team is at and what they need to do if they want to reach the level of teams like Oregon. You've got to get bigger, stronger, faster. And like I told our guys in the locker room, that's the offseason. The offseason work, right? You're not just going to show up and beat a team like that. There's a reason they're really good, right? You've got to show up in the offseason every single day with a mindset to work and get better and think about those games where we just get physically dominated and you have to say, okay, that's why I'm in here right now because I remember that moment where we couldn't do anything. With the loss, the Sun Devils move to 3-8 and eight and have arguably the biggest game of the season next Saturday as they play host to Arizona in the Territorial Cup at Mountain America Stadium. Reporting for Cronkite Sports, I'm Riley Swenson.